students in this video we shall see some modern methods of rainwater harvesting okay now we need to preserve this water it is a precious resource so how to do it in our days those days are different now our days are different and we need to have new new methods to do it and here comes this modern method that is the rooftop rainwater harvesting all of us have roofs we cannot say that we know we are not under a roof if we are in a home we definitely have a roof and on the rooftop falls so much of water okay so basically this rooftop rainwater harvesting is half of two parts the one is catchments that is catchment area and the second one is conduit okay you call you say it as conduit now this is the these are the pipelines so the catchment area is nothing but the roof so the roof could be either slanting like this or it could be a terrace building okay with a slight slant if you give all the rainwater comes to a corner where you could have a mesh or something so that it keeps it clean and the clean water goes down now as the clean water just goes down you could collect it actually it could be separated it could go to gardens it could go for car wash gardens and also for recharge okay so these are the different ways in which we can store water now how to recharge the water see if you you can recharge it by different ways one is you can have percolation pits these percolation pits are man made you can actually build something like this okay and a bund here so through this the water flows and the water stays here or it could be if any shape it could be like this also something like this okay so this water stays here and further it could be connected to the bore well or it could be connected to your well if you have a big well you could connect it to that and then it in increases the water table all right so through percolation pits you can do it okay so that is one way of doing it then you can also have something like um sand and okay see it's something like this ring kind of concrete rings and you put some sand on that this is porous okay so through this porous sand remember this water that's coming down it is let into this concrete rings with the sand porous sand over there so all the dust and the dirt are staying back and only the clean water goes down okay so that is another way of doing this harvesting this rain water then the next one is to directly put it inside the bore well so that is also possible you can directly uh, connect it to the bore well or your well so that the water remains throughout the year okay so these are different types of doing it now you can also these are also called recharge pits why recharge pits usually if your data goes down or if your phone uh, thing is down, down what do you say you have to go and recharge isn't it similarly here if your uh, if this water goes down we have to build it up we can't say no there's no water there's no water because a time comes when you will not get water even if you pay money right so you have to recharge how do you recharge it with pits like this okay so one of the them is the percolation pits then how do you do this there is actually something called aquifers how do this aquifers work aquifers actually are found below the rock okay we have the earth on which our homes stay below that you have a rock layers of rocks are there and below the rocks you have something called these aquifers this is basically filled with water this has water actually the bore well goes and hits this aquifers you get water if there is water there okay so initially what happens this was filled with water now about 
20 years back, 30 years back, even 300 feet, 500 feet, you would hit at these aquifers. But now, even if you go down to 1000 feet, you don't hit at water. What has happened? The water table, the groundwater table has gone down. Okay, so to recharge these aquifers, we use this rooftop rainwater harvesting. So this is a wonderful method wherein you can save your water for your own home for the whole year so that you don't have any problem at all. And there is also something called the check dams or bunds through which for a whole society, for the whole village, the water can be preserved or conserved. Okay. See these check dams are very cheap to do it. It's mostly earthen. It's made of earth or sandbags like this. See it's all man-made and it is simple to build it because during summer when there is no rain it's very easy to build up some structure like this that prevents the water from running off. So water runoff is totally prevented and instead this water is stored in these check dams or bunds they are called and eventually these are used throughout the year. So these are the different ways in which we can harvest the rainwater and use it when we really need it the most. If you like it, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.